could have any food right now. What's your favorite food? Uh, some food too. Okay. What's What's your least favorite food? What food do you hate? Hey Kate, what's your favorite food? today. What? Maybe uh, broccoli. make them all communicate You like broccoli? Are you sure? We could go all over the camp and know where we were, but we can't see. What's your favorite food? M and M's. Tom, tell us about this fine wood we have this year. <laughs> It's fine wood. Yeah. It's, it's burning fantastically. It's just wood from wood. a friend of mine. That's a little sawmill. You don't happen to have any like six foot long planks, do you? Not with me. We need to, something to prop up our clothesline. When with. did you first realize you were a small town kind of guy, Pete? Okay, hold on. When I moved to Pullman, I knew right away that I was a small town guy. Mm -hmm. Didn't take me long. Mm -hmm. What is it that appeals to you about small town living? Small town living is appealing because it's carefree. You can leave your doors and windows unlocked and everybody's friendly. Mm -hmm. Do you leave your house unlocked? Do I leave my house unlocked? No, but other people do. What's your address? <laughs> well, I leave it locked. So I can tell you my address. <laughs> 645 Ridgeline Drive. I don't even know my address. <laughs> I don't pay attention. That's a lie. <gasps> What's your favorite strawberry shortcake character? If you, were to, uh, if you saw a movie title on a marquee and it was called Beyond the Crayons, what do you think that movie might be about? Art. Kind of taking a little survey here of. If women's nip nipples are known as tits, are men's nipples called tats? Interesting. I don't know the answer to that, but I do know that these are called moves. Man boobs. And I've got a pretty decent set. Okay. Thank you very much. If you could invent a holiday, what holiday would you invent? <coughs> well, I think what's missing from the year, um, the holidays that we celebrate is a um, <coughs> day to just enjoy the sunshine you know it, there should be a day in August where we just celebrate the coming of the sun and just kind of lay in the sun